solving equations by graphing the holy grail of algebra. Over the past several years, as I've taught Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Math models, I have shown students how to solve many different types of equations in many different ways. And here are many of them, all the way from the simplest of linear equations to more complex equations such as exponential and logarithmic equations. These nine equations shown represent categories of one unknown equations and have a wide variety of techniques for solving. If a person at the beginning of algebra looks at these equations trying to figure out how to solve them, they might seem quite intimidating. In The Legend of the Knights of the Round Table, the Monty Python movie on the search for the Holy Grail, and even more recently in the third in the Indiana Jones movie series, figuring prominently is the search for the Holy Grail, by legend the cup used by Jesus Christ at the Last Supper. The legend is that whoever possesses this sacred item will receive miraculous powers. As I thought over my many years of teaching, is there a holy grail, a method for solving equations that applies universally to all kinds of equations? After all the years of frustration at trying to explain how to solve equations, I am ready today to tell you, Eureka, I have found it. And that is solving by graphing. Let's solve this pretty simple linear equation by this universal method by graphing. This is 3x plus 6 equals 18. This method is a three-step process that, if you remember, will make you able to solve any one variable algebra equation. Step 1. Solve one side of the equation for 0. It doesn't matter which side. For this equation, we'll solve one side for 0 by subtracting 18 from each side of the equation. To solve one side for 0, it's easiest to pick the side with the smallest number of terms. 18 minus 18 cancel on the right side. And on the left side, 6 minus 18 simplifies to minus 12. And the right side, of course, simplifies to 0. Now step 2, let 0 equal y and let the variable equal x. Here is step 2 in place. The 0 is changed to a y. I also flipped the equation for cosmetic purposes. The, this flipping of the equation is done using the symmetric property of equality. Step 3 is to graph the equation and find the solution or solutions by seeing where it crosses the x-axis. We go to the y equals view in the TI-84 series calculator. Now we enter the equation y equals 3x minus 12. Next we graph. We guarantee a standard window by pressing zoom 6. We see the graph crossing the x-axis at x equals 4, meaning that the solution to the equation is 4. 4 is the one number that satisfies this equation we started out with. In addition to being a solution, it can also be called a root, x-intercept, or 0. For confirmation, we check our table view by pressing second, then graph. We see that y is 0 when x equals 4, confirming our answer. And for one final check, we substitute 4 for x by pressing 4, then storage, then x, then enter. Then we enter the original left side of the equation, 3x plus 6, and press enter. We get 18, just like we had in our original equation, showing that 4 is the correct value of the previously unknown value for x. Before we move on to solving the next equation, let's talk about how this solving by graphing works. We can solve an equation like the one above, uh, 3x plus 6 equals 18, by transforming it into a system of equations. We transform it to y equals 3x plus 6 and y equals 18. And this one we can change to y equals 3x plus 6 and y equals 18. We can see the solution up here, where the red arrow indicates. We can find the solution on the TI-84 series calculator by pressing 2nd, trace, 5, enter, enter, enter. At 4, 18, we see that the value of x is 4. What we're doing with solving by graphing is that we're setting one side of the equation equal to 0 so we can see the solution along the x-axis, just like it's a number line. And here is a number line superimposed over the x-axis. And we see the line crossing that number line at x equals 4. Now let's look at solving this equation, x cubed plus 5x squared plus 2x plus uh, equals 8. This is an equation that is much harder to solve than the first one we looked at. Another thing 
is that as a cubic equation, this one can have one, two, or three possible answers or solutions. We apply step one, solve one side for zero by subtracting eight from both sides of the equation. We cancel eight minus eight on the right side of the equation. We bring down what's left. Then we use the symmetric property of equality and substitute the y for zero. Then we go to step three and enter the equation. Then we graph the equation. We see three solutions at x equals negative four, x equals negative two, and x equals one. We check our table view by pressing second, then graph, and we see all our solutions, also known as roots, x-intercepts, and zeros at negative four, negative two, and one. Finally, we can go back and substitute to check all our solutions. Here is the check of negative four, it checks to equal eight. Here's the check of negative two, that equals eight. And here's the check of one, they all check out to equal eight. They're all correct. We're going to go over one final problem today, solving for this equation. The absolute value of quantity x minus six plus three is equal to six. Stop the video and see if you can solve it yourself by graphing. Then restart the video to see if you got it right. Step one, solve for zero by subtracting six from both sides of the equation. Six minus six cancel on the right side. On the left side, we have quantity, uh, absolute value of quantity x minus six minus three. Next, we go to step two and get y equals quantity x minus six minus three. Now we go to step three, graphing and finding the solution or solutions. We first go to the y equals view in the calculator. We access the absolute value symbol by pressing second and then the zero key for catalog. With the ABS selected at the top for absolute value on the catalog, we press enter. Next, we complete the function by entering x minus six, then closing parentheses, then subtracting three. Now we graph the equation. There are two solutions found along the x-axis at what looks like three and at nine. And we check the table view. We see that the solutions are three and nine. Finally, we check our answers by substituting three for x, then checking, then doing the same thing with nine, proving our answers correct. I like teaching different ways of solving equations, and that's particularly the case for quadratic equations like this one here, where I teach five different ways of solving. As great as all these methods are, I want you to know that there is one way of solving, what I call the holy grail, that will allow you to be able to solve all these types of equations, linear, quadratic, cubic, absolute value, square root, logarithmic, exponential, rational, and many more. The main thing required is the ability to do simple algebra to solve an equation for zero on one side, then graph. This has been Solving Equations by Graphing, the holy grail of algebra. Thanks for viewing.